Hey everyone, welcome back to Kids Church. My name is Teacher JC. And I'm Teacher Annika. We're still here in the beautiful city of Dumaguete. And today we're visiting our church here for the Visayas Teachers Equipping. Wow, this exciting two-day event gathered Kids Church teachers from different victory locations in Visayas and Mindanao. So keep your eyes peeled because you just might see your teacher. Yup, so today we are starting a new series called Her Story in History. We will be introducing some women mentioned in Jesus' genealogy. That means Jesus' great, 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 great grandmothers. So we will discover how God saved these women from challenging situations in their lives. But first, it's game time! Our game time for this month will be quite different. We'll be keeping score of our five teams. Now let's give it up for our teams! What's your name? Sandy. Sandy from Big Bakola! Our first game is called Build Me an End. Using Manila paper, barbecue sticks, one roll of packing tape, contestants must build a sturdy shelter that can fit two people. The team with the sturdiest in will win. Teams, are you ready? Yeah. All right. Your tennis starts now.
Okay, but so far, yeah, I believe it's still this one. Today we had the teams build an inn using simple materials because we are going to talk about the time when a woman named Rahab hid some Israelite spies in her house. And we'll talk about this more later, but for now, let's be in an attitude of worship. Great is your faithfulness, and your steadfast love lasts forever. Thank you for your goodness, for your faithfulness, for your provision, for your healing, for your favor. Thank you for blessing us, and I pray that we would be reminded of everything that you shower upon us, the small, the small blessings, the big blessings, and may we always thank you every single day for your goodness and your grace in our lives. We commit this time of worship to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Another way we can worship God is through our giving. So you may give your tithes and offering by following the instructions flashed on the screen.
tell you my story. <clears throat> hey kids, it's Rahab. Let me tell you my tale. A life full of sin, but my faith wasn't frail. I lived in Jericho, that's a city so grand. But when God came to conquer, I took a stand. I heard of the Israelites and their powerful God. So I made a decision to protect their squad. I hid their spies up on my roof away from Jericho's men. My faith in God of Israel was strong. I knew it even then. The city of Jericho was knocked down. Oh no. But God spared me and mine from my own town. We were given a new life. We were forever changed. I was no longer a harlot. My life was rearranged. Now I'm part, part, part of Jesus' lineage. So you see, from a life of sin to his family tree My life is a proof that God can use anyone To spread his love and build his kingdom Ay. Hey everybody, I'm over here, it's Carlos Santos, your, your, you know, your buddy oh, you, you can't see me? I've been around. Oh, 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 yeah, that's right, that's right. So here we go. One, two. I've been hiding in plain sight. <laughs> I just took it to a whole new level. Ask your moms and dads to Google green screen. Anyway, that's what we're going to do is we're going to dive into the Bible and uncover, you know, look at what's been hiding, the hidden amazing stories of this amazing women throughout the Bible. It's going to be her story in his story, in God's story. Like today, we're going to talk about when the Israelites, you know them, right? They were, they were running from the, away from the Egyptians. They spent time in the wilderness, and they were about to enter the land God gave them. He wanted them to conquer this land, to drive away the evil and wicked nation there. That's yours. Woo! Come on, let's do it! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before they got in, though, they had to see what was going on in that city, in the city of Jericho. So their leader, Joshua, say it with me, Joshua, sent these spies. Yeah, sent these spies, you know, like these ninja type people. Are you ready to go in there and find out what's going on? Let's go. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. That would mean they have to go into enemy territory and their lives would be in danger. Except they met this woman, this woman named Rahab. Come on, all you women, come on, high five the girls beside you. High five you awesome, awesome women. Now this awesome woman named Rahab, she hid those spies from the enemy. Wait a minute, wasn't she an enemy herself? Yeah, but when they asked her, these spies asked her, why are you hiding us? Because when she hid them, they were able to safely go back to the Israelites, and give a great report. And they were able to once again conquer the land, the city of Jericho. Woohoo! All because of this woman named Rahab. And what she told them when they asked her, Why are you hiding us? Why are you saving our lives? And this is what she said. She told them, and you can find this in Joshua chapter 2, verse 9 to 11. Go there and look it up right now. She said, I know that the Lord has given Israel this land. Everyone shakes with fear because of you. We heard how the Lord dried up the Red Sea so you could leave Egypt. And we heard how you destroyed Sihon and Og, these two Amorite kings east of the Jordan River. We know that the Lord, your God, rules heaven and earth. And we've lost our courage and our will to fight. Whoa! What an amazing thing she was saying. What a declaration of faith. She didn't even know their God yet, but she heard about how strong and mighty he was. And so she risked her life. Wow, would you do that? This woman, Rahab, she might have to give up her family. She might have to give up her safety or even her life to hide the Jewish spies. But she knew that this mighty God, it was his plan, it was his will. Now my question to you is, do you realize that yeah, following God requires sacrifice sometimes? But we need to know, just like Rahab, following God is worth it. Say it with me, 
worth it. Just like Rahab decided, it was worth it to sacrifice, to risk her life. And we risk things too by following God. You might have to risk your, you have to give up your time. Yeah, you have, sometimes you have to give up money. You have to go to places to, to follow God, to learn more about Him. Going to kids' church, you know, even with your friends. And, you know, risking people, you know, uh, uh, maybe making fun of you and teasing you because you go to kids' church or when you're inviting them to go to church and they might say, what? That Jesus thing, that Bible thing, that's sort of lame. And you might risk, you know, these people teasing you, mocking you. Let me tell you again, following God is worth any sacrifice. His presence and His power and His peace that He can give into deep into your heart and, and His love that He gives, makes you secure and it makes you strong. That's why moms and dads, it's okay to let our kids know Christianity, following Jesus, it's not easy. But He's worthy of being followed. He's worth everything we give up for him. That's why Rahab, oh, the exciting things you got to learn about Rahab, because she decided that the Bible would forever remember what she did for those spies. In fact, this is what I want you to remember for this whole month. We'll be studying this. Remember this. No matter who we are, God can accomplish great things through us when we're willing to serve and obey him. All right? That comes from our power verse. And God tells us to so humble yourselves under the mighty power of God. And at the right time, He will lift you up in honor. Whoa. So, humble yourselves, humble yourselves, humble yourselves. So, humble yourselves, humble yourselves. Humble yourselves Under the mighty power of God And at the right time He will lift you up He will lift you at the right time He will lift you up He will lift you at the right time He will lift you up He will lift you at the right time He will lift you up He will lift you up like what happened to Rahab. Did you know that what she gave up, and because of that, when they conquered the, the city of Jericho, she was saved. But not only that, 
tell each other, not only that, there's more. Because of that, God decided to make her the great, 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 grandmother of Jesus Christ himself. And Jesus, if you think about it, was the greatest sacrifice ever made. You know him, he came down here, he he healed us, he served us, and then you know, he was tortured, he was betrayed, he was beaten up and nailed to the cross. And on the cross, he gave up the most amazing thing. He gave up his own life so that we can all be saved. Can you decide right now that Jesus, following him, is worth anything we can give up? Would you do that? And if you do that, why don't you pray with me? Say, Lord Jesus, I want to follow you. I thank you for you giving up your life for me to forgive my sins and rising again to beat death in my life so you and I can be together forever. You're worthy of following. I give, would you do this? I give my life to you. Oh, wow. Would you know this? Close your eyes. And do you see the beautiful smiling face of Jesus himself? wanting to wrap you in his arms, holding you in his arms and never letting you go. That's the God you gave your life to. And that's the God you're, you've decided is worthy of giving up anything to follow. Oh, he's going to bless you so much. See you, everybody. Let's recap the story of Rahab. Break it down, Rahab! Let me tell you my story. <clears throat> hey kids, it's Rahab. Let me tell you my tale. A life full of sin, but my faith wasn't frail. I lived in Jericho, that's a city so grand. But when God came to conquer, I took a stand. I heard of the Israelites and their powerful God. So I made a decision to protect their squad. I hid their spies up on my roof away from Jericho's men. My faith in God of Israel was strong. I knew it even then. The city of Jericho was knocked down. Oh no. But God spared me and mine from my own town. We were given a new life. We were forever changed. I was no longer a harlot. My life was rearranged. Now I'm part, part, part of Jesus' lineage. So you see, from a life of sin to his family tree. My life is a proof that God can use anyone to spread his love and build his kingdom. Ayy. Now for our family con, here's the question. Craft time. Hey Crafty Kids, it's Teacher Plum and I'm thrilled to be back with another exciting craft time. But before we begin, I want to give a big shout out to all the awesome kids tuning in from Victory Zamboanga! Thanks for joining us! So today, we will be making this craft. Look at it! Can you see the two spies? Of course you can't because we hid them under dried grass. 
So to make this craft, we will need some simple materials. First, of course, we'll need these dried grass. So if you don't have dried grass, maybe you can use some brown paper or maybe newspaper if you wish. And then we'll also need our template for the coloring page. So this coloring page has the two spies that Ray have helped in our story today. We'll also be needing some double-sided tape, some crayons or coloring materials, which I have here, and some scissors so we can trim our dried grass. All right, we've got all our materials ready, so let's get crafting! So the first thing that we want to do is to get our coloring page template. So these are the two spies that Rahab helped hide. First step is to get our double-sided tape, and you see this tiny rectangle here? Let's just put some double-sided tape over there. Be careful with the scissors. And now that we have our double-sided tape here, next is to color our coloring page. So for this craft, I am gonna use markers. I think I wanna start by coloring the skin. So they're gonna be really tan. Of course, you can pick the colors that you want. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. And for his shirt, we're gonna go with black because he's a spy. Gray for his belt. And black again for his hair. And then I can color the rest of the coloring page and I'll be right back. All right, I'm done. So I colored this sky dark blue and black. So I used a combination of crayons and markers because it was nighttime when Rahab decided to hide the spies in her roof. So these two spies were actually hiding from the men of Jericho. And Rahab helped them by hiding them in her roof and covering them in stalks of flax. So we don't have flax right now, but we're gonna use these dried grass. So let's remove the double-sided tape film. And just like Rahab, let's hide the spies in our craft. still see them so I'm gonna add a little more and I think that's about it where the spies go they're here and ta-da we're done fantastic job everyone as you know, we're in the beginning of our Her Story in His Story series, and today we talked about Rahab. Rahab was a brave woman who showed great faith in God, and she even risked her life to hide two Israelite spies from their enemies. Imagine that! Well, Rahab was willing to risk her life because she believed in God's power, and she had faith in Him. Rahab wanted to leave her old life to follow God and His people. So like Rahab, may we also choose to follow God for the rest of our lives. I can't wait to check out the crafts you've made. So remember, you can share them with us through email at craftykids at victory.org. Dot ph. Just a heads up that by sending us your photos, you and your parents or guardians are allowing us to showcase them in our videos and our website. Also, every photo you submit entitles you to join our craft raffle for the month of May. Winners will be announced every third Sunday of the month. Alright crafty kids, thanks for joining me for another craft time segment and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Keep being creative and keep following God. See you next week. Bye!